गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स स्टडी विद अपाल इंजीनियरिंग एंड जर्नल जियोलॉजी पर बिन सिंह बुक तो हम एट्थ चैप्टर पे हैं सरफेस से फीचर ऑफ प्लेन पढ़ेंगे वन फॉर्म द एनी प्लेन इज ओपन टू द जियोलॉजिकल एक्शन जियोलॉजिकल एक्शन ऑफ वेरियस एजेंट टिपिकल ऑफ दैट रीजन एज सच ओल्ड प्लेन विल नॉर्मलीज सो ऑन द सर्फेस एरोजनल्स एंड डिपोजिशनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स resulting from uh, concentrated so actions of running waters wind and ice as the case may be depending on the ge geographical so location of the plain the river caused plains abound uh, on the globes and their surface may so uh, so a uh, maze of uh, dis dissected land forms represented by flat bottom valleys uh, gullies and others uh, erosional so features so the nature of uh, these features will depend on the nature of bedrock the climate of the area and extent of any uplift that the areas might have undergone the plains of deposition by rivers may be of the type of flood plains the alluvial plain or the deltic plains and exhibit surface which are associated with these deposits similarly the coastal plains the lacustrine plains the outwash plains and the wind blow desert or arid plains bears enough evidence of the activity of represent uh, respective agent both in terms of degrading aggrading aggradation since in a general way the surface of all major plains exhibit uh, features resulting from geomorphological event uh, or series uh, or cycles that have operated in those regions so the two simplest geomorphic phase that take place in a cycles are the phase of planations plan planations uh, and the phase of dissection dissection the first phase is indicative of the general trends leading to leveling of the land by the involved agencies whereas the second phase is indicative of all uh, of an uplift where the same geological agent start cutting dissecting so the relief built in the earliest phase in many plains of the world landscapes forms left overs from so the earlier cycles the relict forms may be as dominant as the recent forms example plain form exp uh, extensive land areas in almost all the major coastlines in some noteworthy example include the north american plains the south american plain the siberian plain the, the australian plain and the indo gangetic plains the indo gangetic plain of india is spread over about 4 lakh square kilometer in most of the northern eastern and the central india are the best example of a construction type of plains these have been formed by deposition of billions of tons of sediment brought down from the surrounding mountains by the mighty rivers of the indus and the ganges and their tributaries through long geological periods so plate you a plateau is simply defined as an elevated track of levels land that generally drop off abruptly one uh, on to one or more sides to lower the levels land the plateaus may be extensive in dimensions often as large as the plains or they may be quite small so very often so the small plate plateaus are called the mesa the butties the tables land or simply as the tables and ab uh, arbi the limit of elevation so where a plain so differs from the plateau is often put at 330 meter or is an example so like plains so plateaus plates sorry plateaus have a diverse origin from the plateaus may be the result of a huge quantities of sheets of lava volcanic rocks piles uh, once above and others so the deccan so plateaus of southern, southern India is a one such examples other plateaus may be the result of complex tectonic deformations whereby central blocks are raised conspicuously so with respect to the lateral topography the plateaus of tibet uh, means elevation 4000 meters above sea level is the highest table and table land of so plateaus of the world so with a total area of about 2 million square kilometers 
Amongst other well known plateaus may be mentioned the Colorado plateaus areas 5 lakh km squares, the Iranian plateaus areas 25 lakh km square, the Mexican plateau areas 3 lakh 50,000 km squares, the Pamir's plateaus 1 lakh km squares, and the Deccan plateau 4 lakh km square, or Peninsula India. The plateaus are not peculiar. Uh, to the continent only the flat land raised above the sea floor are also of a common occurrence they are sometimes referred as a submarine uh, plateaus later uh, lately however the terms submarine platforms has been used more commonly for them so in figure simple plateau volcanic landforms journal information जिसे हम कहते हैं डेफिनेशन भी नेचुरली अकरिंग फिशर्स कंडाइट्स और वेंट थ्रो विच हॉट मटेरियल्स कम्स आउट रेगुलरली और इंटरमिटेंटली आर टर्मड एज वॉल्केनो से अ वॉल्केनो इज फर्दर डिस्क्राइब एज एक्टिव इफ इट इज पोरिंग्स आउट द मटेरियल्स प्रेजेंटली और हैज डन सो इन द वेरी रिसेंट पास्ट एंड डोरमेंट फ्रॉम विच नो मटेरियल्स इज थ्रोन out at present but there there is evidence of eruptions having taken place in the past and where there is every like likelihood of its becoming active again a third type of volcanoes are called extinct which have been known to have remained totally in inactive for considerable length of times in the geological scales, most volcanic volcanoes become extinct and totally inactive with the passage of time. After having poured out varied, varied quantities of matters from below the earth, volcanism and or volcanic activity is a broad term which includes both the intrusion of the magma within the earth crust and also its extrusive over the surface through the volcanoes. थैंक यू लेकिन आपसे एक लास्ट में बात करना चाहूँगी कि आप लोग जितना हो सके कोशिश करिए इंग्लिश में ही करिए क्योंकि सारे कंपटीशन आपके हाई लेवल के जिसका मैंने दिया हुआ है कि यूपीएससी में है और भी अदर कंपटेटिव एग्ज़ाम हैं तो उनमें इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ही चलती है आप साइंस बैकग्राउंड के हैं तो आप अगर ना ही अगर आप हिंदी की तरफ भागेंगे ना आप हिंदी के लायक रहेंगे ना इंग्लिश के लायक रहेंगे इसलिए आपको दिक्कत होगी लेकिन आप जितना हो सके इंग्लिश में ही करिए नहीं समझ में आ रहा लेकिन बार बार करिए कोशिश रीड करिए खुद से भी और बुक ज़रूर पढ़िए थैंक यू